Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, well, here's the enhanced satellite, and uh, it is showing you that the hurricane is weakened because when you have a strong hurricane, you got that very solid eye in the middle. We had that yesterday, and then some upper level winds came in, some wind shear, and weakened it overnight. So now it is down to a category two hurricane. And that update came out at 5 a.m., and it didn't change either. It's about 200 miles to the southeast of Wilmington, and it's moving off of that direction. But you can see some of the rain bands are already making their way onto Hatteras. We're getting some gusts to about 30 miles an hour just recently around Hatteras. Uh, and some of these rain bands will work their way up into Hampton Roads today. The winds will pick up. Now, here it is at currently Category 2 hurricane, winds of 110 miles an hour, moving northwest at 15 miles an hour. Now, the forecast calls for it to make landfall somewhere in here. Early Friday morning is a Category 2 hurricane, uh, it, but that is still better than a couple days ago when it was expected to make landfall as a Category 4 hurricane. So there's some improvement here, but it's still going to be a rough go for the folks down around Wilmington in that area. And then it moves off to the southwest for a little bit, down towards Myrtle Beach, weakens, and then moves off to the north. So yes, the, the center of this will stay away from us, but just keep in mind that this is going to be a large storm. We're going to be on the edge of this. We're going to be on the edge of the constant rain in our North Carolina counties. And here in Hampton Roads, we'll get a lot more rain because the stationary front will be on the north edge of this. It'll provide us with a lot of rain then, too. So that's later today. Going into Friday morning, the rain in Hampton Roads picks up. We see a lot of rain throughout northeast North Carolina. Could see 5 to 10 inches here. I'll be more specific on that in a bit. The center down towards Wilmington late Friday. And our winds are here through Friday and maybe Saturday morning, but I think our winds will start to decrease as we get later into Saturday. The rain will linger Saturday into Sunday, but the winds should start to uh, decrease. So specifically, what can we expect? Let's talk about it. So over the Outer Banks, rain, 6 to 10 inches possible, maybe 12 inches down towards the southern Outer Banks. Hatteras, Rodanthe, uh, winds 45 to 55 miles an hour. Could see some gusts of hurricane force along the Outer Banks and maybe even around the Albemarle Sound. Storm surge, four to seven feet. You got beach erosion, which is going to be a big problem down there, too. So the southern Outer Banks are probably going to get the worst of the conditions. Inland, northeast North Carolina, uh, you're going to get possibly five to eight inches of rain. 10 inches locally, it's not out of the question. Winds 25 to 35, gust to 60, maybe a little higher. And the storm surge, the winds are going to drive that storm surge into the western Albemarle Sound. So Bertie, Shawan, maybe even Pasquotank County on the southern end, you could see some, uh, you know, a four to six foot storm surge. Be careful down that way. It could be a big problem. And then here's the south side, Virginia Beach inland a little bit to Suffolk. We're rain three to five inches, six inches locally. It's not out of the question. Winds 25 to 35, gust to 45, and moderate tidal flooding for the south side of Hampton Roads. Now, here's the peninsulas. This is the peninsula and the middle peninsula, Gloucester and Hampton. Rain 3 to 5 inches, winds gusting possibly up to 40 miles an hour. And you could see some moderate and maybe some major tidal flooding as up into the York and James Rivers, we could see that wind push that water up. So that's where you could see some major tidal flooding on this one. Uh, the eastern shore, rain 2 to 4 inches, uh, winds 15 to 20, gusts to 30, some minor tidal flooding. All right, so to talk about the timing of some of this and the winds, here's Dietrich Tate. All right, thanks, Jeremy. And here's a view of the winds right now. Again, not too bad, but the breeze will continue to kick up as we go through the course of the day. Again, we do have that tropical storm warning that's in effect. That means we're expecting the winds to get up to about 39 miles per hour or higher uh, within the next 36 hours for the uh, affected areas, which does include portions of Hampton Roads, including the south side. As far as today, the timing, again, a few rain bands will start to move in. Squally weather as we had towards later today, and again, the winds picking up. Tonight, we're expecting rain increasing in coverage, and again, we're expecting the winds to pick up as well. Again, getting to around uh, tropical storm force or higher in terms of getting up to about 39 to maybe uh, 45, maybe gusts up to 50 miles per hour as we work into Friday, especially. And so we're going to continue with that rain and wind potential. However, moderate tidal flooding becomes, becomes more of a concern as we head on into our Friday. As far as the rainfall forecast, here's a view. Again, we're expecting the coverage to pick up as we work our way through the afternoon and into the evening, primarily as Florence gets closer to making the landfall through Friday. Here's a view 7 a.m. We're going to have a pretty good coverage of rain coming in. We'll be watching for the potential for maybe some severe weather with those bands coming and wrapping around uh, Florence, we could possibly have uh, a, a tornado risk. So again, we'll keep you posted on the timing of that, but definitely stay up to date for any alerts that could be
be issued. And we really want to focus on the uh, tidal forecast going up to near moderate as we work our way towards late tonight through early Friday morning. And it'll be moderate as we work our way towards Friday afternoon high tide and for our Saturday morning high tide. As far as other locations, here's a quick view here. Fort Monroe, you're going to be moderate by Friday. And as we work our way on towards our uh, Mob Jack Bay area, you're looking at moderate by Friday morning. And Corolla, you're going to be major as we head towards our Friday afternoon, roughly about noontime. That's when we're expecting that to take place, so just FYI. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. And as you see here, we are looking at uh, some really unsettled weather, breezy, rainy as we work towards Saturday, but improving by Sunday. We've seen some positive signs, but we're by no means out of the woods yet. Yeah, no, and uh, you know, even though the storm, the center weakened last night, the winds spread out even further, or farther rather, and so uh, the winds, the tropical storm force winds, are still expected to move up this way. So lots mm -hmm. of folks saying, oh, well, you know, it's not going to be that bad here. We're still going to have some pretty gusty winds, and still could cause some power. You get some gust up to 45 miles an hour, you know, it can knock down some branches, uh, maybe some small trees. We had a lot of rain recently. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, root structures might be uh, a little bit weak, so right. maybe some small trees might get knocked over on this one. So let's keep all that in mind.